Hey guys, it's Paul with RC Film Fighters. Thanks for joining me for this real quick video on a new plane I'm making. Um, I'm not sure if all of you guys have been paying attention, but our Colorado connection, Jake, he's out there making some videos um, with the school he's working at. And uh, just recently he put a video out, uh, probably a couple weeks ago, where he put out a challenge to anybody here on YouTube and also the rest of us RC Film Fighters team um, to make a foam board EDF jet, you know, from scratch build. And then we're going to have kind of like a small competition. Everybody's going to make a plane and uh, we'll let all of you viewers uh, judge which one you like the best. Um, so basically this is a video on the plane that I uh, kind of threw together this weekend. I've been away in California on vacation so I kind of had a rush to get one together. Um, but this plane is based on an idea that I kind of had in my head for a little while. It's um, kind of a lifting body type design, um, kind of like a flying wing or uh, I don't know, it almost looks like a spaceship. Uh, but basically let me get into taking a look at the plane. I'll show you the build and uh, where I'm at right now with the plane. Okay, everyone, here's a quick uh, look at the concept drawing that I originally came up with for this uh, EDF plane. This is going to be built out of foam board like I did mention, uh, but I kind of wanted to try something different. Um, I'm not totally sure if this is going to work yet or not, um, but basically this is a, a kind of a lifting body type design. Um, it's got the fatter nose up front, and this is not going to be a flat foam board um, plane. I'm actually going to be using um, a top and a bottom layer of foam board, and I'm going to try and make it more shaped like an actual airfoil. Um, so we'll see how this comes out. So uh, let's get into the build and uh, see how it all went. Okay guys, here's a look at the plane. I've got about 99% done. Um, I only got a few minor things to do. I just have to put the magnets on the canopy to hold it down. And I may or may not put some landing gear on it, um, deciding on how I'm going to actually uh, take off of this plane. Um, but basically, I was actually pretty happy with the way it came out. I'm really happy with the way the wing and airfoil um, came out. It's got a nice kind of shape to it. It's actually like a regular airfoil. Um, I did probably need to put one other uh, bulkhead in the wing. It's not as rigid as I wanted, but uh, we're going to try and run it and see what happens as it is. Um, but basically, that's the first glimpses at it. Okay, as I mentioned, I do not have the magnet yet on the canopy. Um, it's just sitting on there. Um, but basically, that's where the battery's going to go. All the wires pretty much tuck underneath. So, pull this out here. Okay. So all the wires are going to go totally on inside, so it makes it nice and clean. Um, the the uh, ESC is also underneath the top layer, in between the two layers of the top and bottom foam board pieces. So it's kind of tucked in there. Hopefully it gets some air uh, from the suction of the EDF. Um, so that's that. Get all the servos in. Everything's ready to go. So uh, basically I probably won't get a chance to fly this until next weekend, or this coming weekend I mean. So hopefully I can get it done and uh, posted as a part two of this jet. Okay, the EDF unit on this plane is a Hobby King EDF. Um, basically it's the type that's kind of re in reverse mode. It's got the motor up front um, with the fan at the back of the EDF. Hopefully this will uh, keep the motor a little cooler since it's up front and it's actually supposed to be a, a better more efficient uh, EDF design. So we'll give it a try. Hopefully it's going to put out enough power. Um, this plane is a little bit heavier than I uh, originally anticipated. It's uh, over 20 ounces so I hope that EDF puts out enough juice to get this thing flying. Okay, I don't know if you can see the ESC in there. I'm running a Turner G Plush 60 amp ESC and the battery pack is 1800 milliamp 4S LiPo pack. This airplane design does feature four vertical stabilizers as you can see from the top. Um, the two on the edges of the wings they do drop a little bit below the main wing. Um, I don't know if you can see it here but uh, you can kind of see the airfoil shape. It's definitely not a flat uh, piece of foam board. So I kind of angled the front of the wing and then bent it down and around to give it an airfoil shape. 
So hopefully that'll create a little more lift and uh, help me out with this extra weight of the plane. Now I went with the uh, U.S. Air Force uh, paint scheme or sticker scheme, whatever you want to call it. And it's uh, basically got a red and black on top. Here's a quick look at the bottom side of the plane. Um, as you can see, the EDF unit is also exposed on the bottom. Hopefully that'll allow enough air to get into it. And I did create a uh, thrust cone. Basically this is just a um, poster board, black poster board. Now on the inside, on the opposite side of the poster board, it's uh, kind of a bright orange. So that kind of should give it a cool accent when it's flying. Um, I do have slots cut out for um, the landing gear if I decide to go with it. Um, I'm just I'm not totally sure if I want to do it. I probably will so I can get some uh, ground speed up before I take off because um, EDFs usually don't put out a whole lot of thrust right off the bat. So let me uh, put the landing gear in and I'll show you kind of how it looks with that. Okay guys, here's a look at the landing gear that I put on the plane. Um, I probably am going to do that I think on the initial flight I'm probably going to use landing gear. Um, this landing gear I got off of one of the uh, mini jets I had. It was from, uh, what the heck was it? It was the uh, mini F-18 that I have from Hobby King. I didn't use them on that, so I had them left over. I did have to bend the landing gear, though, to get the back end to sit down. Otherwise, the nose would be lower than the back. So uh, I still got to probably realign them a little bit better to make sure it goes straight. Because this isn't a steerable front landing gear, so I got to make sure it's as straight as possible. Um, so I can get a nice straight run on the takeoff. Okay, everyone, that'll pretty much finish up looking at the plane that I have for Jake's EDF Challenge. Hope you guys like the plane, and I hope that it uh, turns out to fly good. Hopefully it's not a total failure when I get out to the airfield and uh, try to fly it. Uh, but basically this is the plane I came up with, and if you go to Jake's uh, channel, he's got a headquarters video. Uh, basically that's where you're going to be able to find all the other contestants that have uh, signed up for this EDF challenge. And after you view the other planes, you can leave a comment under Jake's headquarters video for which one you like the best. I'll put a link under uh, the video details for this video. So you can see Jake's main video that gives you kind of details on the competition and also the links to all the other uh, guys that are competing in the CDF challenge. Okay guys, that pretty much finished up the uh, first video I have on my plane for the EDF challenge. Um, hopefully after this weekend I'll have some flight video of it and uh, hopefully that will uh, go successful. Um, in the meantime though, if you'd like, please go to Jake's channel. I'll put a link, like I said, uh, down below in the uh, video comments here. You go to his channel and find out a little bit more details on the CDF challenge. And also see all the other guys that are uh, actually uh, participating in the CDF challenge. So thanks again for watching this video and uh, see you guys next time.